tryna make y'all comfortable right. For the record, you ain't tryna grow, then it's done for you right. For the record, live on me, going all the way For the record, ain't tryna link, no time to waste For the record Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and days. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the, flipping the. Hello, 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 hello again. Welcome once again to another hopefully edutaining episode of Create Simple Meals. Today we're going to do a Parmesan crusted salmon. So the wife is still on low carb. I'm not. Uh, she sent me a recipe um, for Parmesan crusted tilapia, but I'm not a big fan of tilapia, so I decided we're going to do uh, Parmesan crusted salmon. Now, before people like a good friend of mine, Tassana, started judging me, I know I said Mardi Gras, but I did over a month without drinking. I now only drink on Tuesdays and weekends. Okay. Parmesan crusted salmon. This is a very, very, very simple meal. First, we're going to do is make this adobo sauce. So the uh, adobo sauce is. Can you not see it? I, I'm going to use the only on that. The, the adobo uh, sauce is is real simple. We're going to take equal parts of everything. So onion. We're going to take some turmeric. Now, you know, and I meant to, to Google this earlier, and I didn't, um, to find out a substitute for turmeric. Because uh, I happen to have some turmeric in there for something else, because I thought I was going to have to buy it. Um, my assumption is it's not common in uh, the majority of homes. I might be wrong. But I will try and Google and put in the comments what you can substitute for turmeric. Anyway, equal parts turmeric, onion powder, my favorite, cumin. My daughter was just in there talking crap about uh cumin. She ain't a big. She was like, I don't know about that smell. I'm like, whatever, dude. I love cumin. Uh, some oregano. Little bit of black pepper. And again, it's equal parts. And this is the adobo uh seasoning. And some sea salt. One, two. So we got all that together, and we're just gonna mix that up. And that's basically your your blend for your adobo seasoning. So now I can get all this stuff out of my way. I was I was watching enough because I you know obviously I, I do a bunch of watching for uh other chefs and uh internet chefs and i was watching this one lady uh, who i follow and i love her recipes she cleans every time she do something i'm not that that neat of a cook so i can't do all that another thing this big old pan that i'm using right here i'm gonna let you know right now i'm using it because yes i do this show for us us being you create simple meals audience but this is also dinner tonight. And I'll be doggone if I'm going to sit here and cook for the show and then have to cook for everybody else separate. That wasn't going to happen. So I'm like, y'all need to get me a pan big enough to cook everybody's fish at one time. Now, so we have some salmon here. And I have skin on salmon. You do not have to use that if you don't like. And actually, this recipe works with pretty much any uh, fish. I'm just using salmon. Because the, the fishmonger I go to, they don't uh, fillet. And I was going to do some strawberry grouper, but they wouldn't fillet. Anyway, all right. So put a little oil on it. And the, only, the primary reason for the oil, just so this seasoning will stick. This adobo seasoning, we're actually going to take it and season both sides of the fish. Again, if you don't like uh, salmon or that's just not your preference, this will pretty much go with any neutral flavored filleted fish. 
flip this over. Oh, now, another thing. So, about, I was looking at some of the previous videos, and believe it or not, although I don't have that many subscribers, about a good, I think last week video, we had at least a thousand people watched it. Uh, of those thousand people, I'm still needing to hear from you all because I'm as as you all know who've been watching. I'm trying to build a viable format, but the format is only viable if it's what you, the people, want. So please send me your ideas, your your critiques, your comments, your criticisms. What else you would like to see? You can either inbox me directly through the Create Simple Meals uh, Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, or you can email me at askme at createsimplemeals.com. All right, we done with that. All right, let's get this heat back up. Now, one, one critique I did get was uh, <laughs> from my cousin. She said, you still talking too damn much. Okay, well, uh, it's a cooking show. And although you are tuning in to watch me cook, I'm quite sure you ain't want to just see me sitting here mixing. You, you kind of want some uh, dialogue. Now, um, shameless plug, not so shameless. Last week when I did the show, you know, it was my first week back drinking, and I drank, and I did not take, for those who have watched some of the earlier shows, I didn't take my purple tree pills. Again, I always plug them, even though they don't pay me, but they have sent me some free gifts. I didn't take it, and I woke up the next day feeling like crap. So I highly recommend the Purple Tree Pills, um, and I will put those comments, or a link in the comments, if you're interested. We'll also shout out to the Self-Employed Tax uh, Company. As y'all know, this is tax season, so some of y'all getting ready to try to ball out. Hit up the Self-Employed Tax Company. They will do their best to make sure that everything is done correct. In addition to that, the owner is an enrolled agent. What that means, he can represent you in audits, uh, any type of tax legal situation. Um, he will meet you via Skype, email, face-to-face. Uh, -face. He's made it viable, so for pretty much any option that you need to meet him with, meet him. Also, to Seth Lodge Planning, for all your group, travel needs please hit up Seth Lodge plan I have I actually just did a trip for someone to Aruba got some what I believe was pretty amazing deals um, so please hit us up we will do everything we can to uh, help your day out now or help your trips out now back to this so I'm actually gonna go let me see if this is hot enough first I think it is I'm actually gonna go flesh side down the first time just because let me turn this up some and I don't think we need this anymore so let me get this out of my way oh so what I was saying earlier about watching some of these other shows and as you guys can imagine Those of you that, that know me personally, um, how intimidating it can be doing uh, this show, especially to your friends and family, because if y'all got a family like mine, they will clown the hell out of you, um, and I'm going to see them next week, so I'm quite sure I'm going to get some clowning. But I was doing this show, and I started getting kind of apprehensive because I'm like, man, am I going too long? Am I going too short? You know, what's going on? Am I giving people enough content? And I was watching this guy, uh, his show, who he's pretty successful. Um, and I'm watching this dude and all the stuff he do. And I'm like, hold up. Every format's going to be different. Calm down. Do what you do. Uh, but I, I definitely need y'all to still give me your feedback so we can find out what's going on. Again, if you're just now tuning in, um, we are doing a salmon or Parmesan-encrusted 
uh, salmon. Real simple uh, mixes. They call it a double mix, but it's real simple. You put equal parts onion, garlic, coarse salt, black pepper, some turmeric, cumin, and some, uh, what did I say? Uh, oregano. Mix that all together. You season both sides of the fish with that with a little bit of oil. And now we're cooking it off in a pan. Now, on the recipe that I'm going to post and that, that you've probably seen, it says something like six minutes per side or something like that. Y'all know me. Um, I don't do the uh, the uh, the uh, cooking to time and all that. I use thermometers. Speaking of which, where is my? Th oh, I know. Let me grab my thermometer real quick. I'm I'm not a big fan of that time because your six minutes could be either overdone or underdone. I went actually the other day to the, I wanted to get me a fish flipper. Ah, that's a pretty color on there. Ah, come on now. Don't do that to me. I need to invest in me a fish spatula. It'll make this part a little bit easier. But as you see, it's got a nice char on it. And that's actually why I wanted to do that side first. I didn't want to mess up <coughs> the coating on it. For those of you who might ask me before, you should tell what you're drinking. Today I'm drinking Bullet Bourbon, one of my favorites. Funny story about, about uh, liquor. So I was talking uh, to some folks today, some family members. And I didn't know this because I'm not a, a cognac drinker. So somebody I know had some uh, Hennessy White, and they were like, well, I let it go for X amount of price. And they were like, that's high. I don't know what the heck this, this Hennessy White is, but apparently you can only get it in a... Uh, we can't get it in the United States, so it must be a big deal to have it. But if it is something special, one of y'all that know me, why don't y'all procure me a bottle of the Hennessy White and let me taste a smidgen of it. I tasted it before, but I can't remember. So go on, help me out. Again, if you're just now tuning in, we are doing a Parmesan crusted salmon. Again, real simple recipe. We just topped it with an adobo seasoning. They do have already pre-made adobo seasonings. Um, but we made our own today. Equal parts onion, garlic, salt, pepper, turmeric, cumin. Mix that up. We coated both sides of the fish with it. And now we're just cooking it off in the pan. Now, that's not ready, but let me move this over just a tad. I don't know, my, my mind is telling me I can do something else with this oil, but I'm not. We actually had did some gar some uh, asparagus earlier, so we are going to serve this with asparagus. For the asparagus recipe, wasn't a, a whole lot to it. Basically took some olive oil, asparagus spears, threw it in this oven here, um, cooked it off, and we're going to serve that with this fish. So it's actually a very low calorie, additionally a... Uh, not by on purpose, uh, just on happenstance, low carb meal. Now, full disclosure here, the recipe calls for lime. I never use whatever citrus they tell me to use. I use what citrus is available. So this is actually a lemon, tangerine, something or other. I don't know exactly what it is because my neighbor grows a big old tree next door. And since I got these in abundance, this is what we use. I hardly ever buy citrus anymore when you got a tree right next door. Just checking our temperature here.
Now, with salmon, I know oftentimes, and don't quote me on this, I believe, actually, I can tell you right here, I forgot this handy-dandy uh, thermometer, got it on there. Sam or fish is done around 135, 140. A lot of recipes is going to tell you to a flakes. Trust me on this one. Do not do it to it flakes. Do it to temperature. That's 140 in the thickest part. So these actually can come out. That's 130. 130. One thirty nine, one thirty eight. All right. So what we're gonna do here now, folks? We're gonna take this fish out. Let me turn this off, and we're gonna throw this in the air fryer. Whoa, that's a big piece right there. Do me a favor, unplug that uh that thing. All right, I'm gonna take this asparagus out that we done earlier. We'll put that out later. Oh, damn it! You know what? Thank God for the director and thank God for April because. What you just said do is exactly what the hell I'm supposed to be doing in the first damn place. She said uh, Parmesan and what? Sea sauce. Yeah, so sea sauce already in it, uh, April. Uh, but God dog it, man, you know what? I See, sometimes you be in your head um, and don't be paying attention. Got a big ass bowl of uh, Parmesan right here. Boy, I tell you. See, and this is one of the reasons I love my friends and my viewers. I know you said a little bit, but uh, here at Create Simple Meals, we's going to do a lot of bit. All right. Man, boy, I tell you, about to screw the whole damn show up. I'm going to do this just for color. I don't need that. No, I don't want that. What was I looking for? Just for a little bit of, no, nope, that ain't what I wanted either. Ah, there I'm looking for. Just for a little bit of color, I want to put a little bit of, Oh, oh yeah, we're supposed to be on the fish too. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I was sure about to screw this up. Now, actually, you know what? Uh, uh, April, I was actually uh thinking about earlier, and I told my daughter I was actually going to put uh parmesan on the um on the uh, asparagus, and then. I said, nah, I may not do that because I already got cheese um, on this fish. And full disclosure, I'm black. That means I'm kind of lactose intolerant. Anyway, uh, let me put this on in here. Kendrick, Kendrick. Oh, from uh, Texas. What up, Square? Put this in there. All right, put this in there. Now, if you're doing this, ha! <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you're doing this in uh, uh in the house, you can use your broiler and do it for one minute. But we're gonna do this for three minutes in this air fryer. Uh, three minutes and go from there. And, and while I'm doing that, I guess I might as well talk to y'all some more. Get this out of my way. Hey, Trey, the address is on that um, invitation I sent you for um, my 45th. You know what? Damn it. April said do it. And I'll be that blame. I ain't going to wait this Parmesan cheese. Damn it, April. We going to do it. What's happening, Square? I'm going to go ahead and do it just because she said do it. But always want to do a twist on whatever so april said sea salt i'm a one up you april 
I'm gonna put a little lemon pepper on it because why not? <laughs> and we might well go and put all this cheese on that. Let's stop being pretty. All right, that's done. Sonia Mesqua? Hey, Sonia. All right, put that on. Now, totally not part of the meal, but because y'all said, do we do it? So we have some asparagus here that we've already roasted off, and we earlier roasted it off with some garlic uh, seasoning and salt, and that was it. But because, I love y'all, we actually done, as, what's the old boy name? Uh, Emerald Live, gonna kick it up a notch. We added some Parmesan, this actually this is actually a Parmesan Asiago uh, mix, and some lemon pepper. And we're going to see how this go. It's either going to be great, it's either going to be good, or it's going to be like, don't you ever in your life do that bull again. Actually, no, I know it's going to be good. The only reason it might be a tad too salty because I already had salt on it. But damn it, we adjust that for the next time. Is there a light on this thing? Tamara, that's what, that's what, uh, me and her used to talk about, we done talk about so much recipes when we used to, uh, work together back in the day. Uh, let me get this out my way, cause y'all don't need to see that no more. Actually, uh, yeah. Get that out my way. It's funny, you start watching all these, uh, people, I'm gonna need that. We start watching all these people's shows, and now I'm getting stuff kind of like, maybe I should start cleaning up more. And then I'm like, hey man, hold on, hold on. Try to be you as much as you can. All right, is this, you know what I don't have? An oven mitt, but it's okay. I got plenty of paper towels. Nothing like I, I, I need y'all to kick in on. Like somebody, and I've been trying to get it together, but I'm not an architect. So somebody was talking about the wires and stuff in the back. And I'm like, hey man, look, I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly. Uh, I want that to go a little bit longer. So, I want to put that just a little bit longer. But while I'm doing that, hold on. I think I can go and slide this right on in the bottom. Yep. All right, folks, we're going to get this another five minutes or so at 400 degrees to two, two things. A, crust that uh, fish up, and B, to uh, melt that uh, Parmesan that uh, good friend April told me to go and try it. April Tucker or April Turner? Yeah. Apple, okay, yeah. Righteous, righteous notion. Um, I was going to say something, and I totally forgot. But... Again, as I've said pretty much every week except for maybe the last one, artists, those of you that are musical artists, the music I'm using right now, I don't even know these folks, but I am using theirs to put it out there and it's actually getting them some traction. If you are an artist and you would like for me to A, feature your music, don't mind me using it, you ain't gonna charge me no licensing fee, I will shout out your concerts, whatever you're doing. Only thing I will not do don't ask me why, y'all see my show. I will not do gospel. This ain't the show for gospel. But if you do R&B, uh, any secular music, I will do it. If it's rap, we need to get the clean version because I don't. all my viewers don't want to hear all that cussing. But definitely send me your music. I will shout you out. I will tell everybody where you're going to be at. Let me play it on here. Even if you're Latin. We're going to probably do a whole Latin flair month uh, in May for... Um, A, it's my birthday. I love uh, Latin food and single de Mayo also sometime that month. Let's see how this is going. I need to hit up Tyrone about uh, that website. The website is coming. Uh, and again, in the meantime, please like us, share us, follow us on Facebook. Obviously, you know where to find us on Facebook. That's where we're streaming right now. Also on YouTube, we're streaming there as well. 
But on Instagram, we are create underscore simple underscore meals. And as always, I'm going to say this again because I, I was talking to some people this past weekend. And they were talking about cooking and how they get uh, intimidated by it. I'm like, hey, man, when, the one thing I say, I'll tell them he didn't know I did a show. Like, I, one thing I do on my show is three rules. Passion, patience, practice. It's the only damn rule there are in cooking. Because the way you cook and the way somebody else cooks is going to be totally different. I did a macaroni and cheese this weekend. I'm trying to edit the video now. For uh, It was a, actually a pepper jack macaroni and cheese. Now, most of us that got southern roots, we're like, what this fool doing now? It was good. But the problem is we get fixated in our mind on what we think food is supposed to be or how it's supposed to be or how it, the way it's supposed to be done, and then we don't want to venture out. So that's why I'm like, nah, we ain't got to do all that. Let's just try some things. Whatever. Oh, I thought you were saying something. So uh, when he was saying this, I'm like, dude, just just practice at cooking and if you fail you fail i would tell you this full disclosure again there has been many a times that <laughs> i done thought i was about to knock it out the park and i done created some straight bull and there's been other times where i thought it was gonna be nasty as hell and i had folks matter of fact i did a, a party at my brother's house and i had folks like trying to hire me on the spot so don't be so hard. Remember, three Ps, passion, patience, practice is all you need to do. I should have brought my trivet because I think granite is uh, heat resistant. All right. That's the fish. Is that in the shot? Let me pull that back a little bit. I don't, hell, I don't know my drink oil I've been drinking. Grab this one out. It's not as done, but that one right there is pretty darn pretty. All right. Let that cook off a little bit more, but in the meantime, let me grab me. Well, I need stock in these damn gloves. While I'm waiting, I might as well go and fix everybody else's plate, too. You want that piece? You know, I'm going to tell you right now. 21st of this month, I'll be married 22 years. I've been with this woman, who's also the director, almost 25 years. But I'll be damned if I'm their damn personal chef. They be sitting here making demands like I'm supposed to sit there and cook on demand. Y'all don't hire me. I was like, boy, I tell you. All right, this is going to be Ashlyn's piece. Just to show you a different, folks, so I'm not sure if it's... Let me have this in the camera. So you got one that's more brown, and then you have this one that's not. You can do it to every prep you want. I did that deliberately because I wanted to see how they like it. Now this, on the other hand, I'm not doing deliberately. Am I gonna be able to do that? Nah, that's gonna be hot. No, nah, I got it. My main concern was I think it's a uh, heat resistant, but I ain't about to. Mess up my shit. Uh, all right. Grab these. I had to hit up my cousin. Like, am my plating okay? My cousin or or uh, Keon or of Eat Three Ten. But I'm gonna tell you, this plating stuff ain't something I do. I'm quite sure it's some very culinary way you're supposed to do all that, but I ain't me. 
and I ain't do it. Well, there you have it, folks. Again, right there. Oh, there were? Okay. Again, real simple recipe. We took some salmon. You can take any type of neutral flavored filet that you want. We season it with an adobo mix. You can buy some pre-made or make your own. It's equal parts onion, garlic, uh, turmeric, cumin, sea salt, black pepper. Season that on both sides. Cook it off in a pan. Throw it in the oven. Uh, top it off with some black pepper, some Parmesan cheese, and some uh, oregano just for color. We're serving it with some asparagus. Put that in the oven, and you're good to go. But you know what? I'm going to have to use that plate to take pictures with. I'm going to try somebody's right here. I like that. Not too salty. Now, the test, since we did this live on air, let me try this asparagus. April. Hey, Add that lemon pepper. All right, folks. Until next week, when we're back here again on Create Simple Meals, remember, when it comes to cooking, there are only three rules. You must have a passion, you must have patience, and you must be willing to practice. See you again soon right here on Create Simple Meals. Too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price so y'all. Snake.